midnight, July 25th, the federal government effected the partial closure of the third mainland bridge. But not without warning and appeal to Lagos residents that the coming days were going to be a little discomforting. Plus TV Africa's Mary Chinda was at the Kata Bridge in Lagos and sent in this report on the traffic situation. It is a rough day for Lagosians and commuters plying alternative routes with the closure of some parts of the third mainland bridge. I say traffic is too much. We don't like it to hear. Three hours. I'm actually going from VI trying to see alternative route, but I couldn't get any. It's, this is mad. It's, this is not nice on this. And uh, my own issue now is my office is in VI. I live on, on the mainland. I can't stop walking, but I don't want to explain this daily. It's killing. Health wise, it's bad. In every way, it's not nice. It's terrible. Every day, it's free. I don't even know. I don't know what the governor is doing. This is not the time they should just they should start the job of um, Tom Elam Bridge. At least they should they should they should give people notice. During those COVID-19, we don't know what they are doing all those time. A major worry is the man hours spent on plying the alternate bridges. Here at the Carter Bridge, some motorists have either spent several hours in traffic or are too exhausted to continue their journey. I'm at inside the Odop since since almost one hour plus now. So the Odop may, may find a solution to do for us, I think. While commuters are having a hard time, traffic vendors appear to be taking advantage of the situation. This sort of, you know, say, this hold up, we know the car, you know, they allow us to say market before. But for this moment, we don't they sell small, small. They see small, small money. It is unimaginable that this episode will last for the next six months. But government had assured that there are enough traffic managers in place to cushion the effect. He said even by the governor, um, Babajide Sonwolu, that 75% of the normal traffic on the bridge will still be accommodated and 25% more than likely to be displaced. As far as last month is concerned, we have about 650 officers that will be dedicated to this uh, exercise. Um, the FRSC has mentioned that they have 250 officers, so that is making about 900 officers. The question remains, what impact has this had since the closure, or should there be an appraisal of the strategy in place? According to commentators, answers to these will go a long way in putting smiles back on the faces of commuters and motorists. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Mary, for that report.